Sabah everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to check out the OnePlus 8T Cyberpunk 2077 edition, made specifically by OnePlus to be part of the Cyberpunk Night City uh, gaming experience. Obviously, you can play it on your PC, your Xbox, your PlayStation, but today we're actually going to do a couple of things. We're going to check out all of the goodies that come with this special edition one. And of course, we're also going to be able to play Cyberpunk 2077 on the Cyberpunk 2077 smartphone. This is TK. Let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. Packaging, of course, is very, very special. We'll notice right there, obviously, it says Cyberpunk 2077. And of course, right there, OnePlus as the branding, of course. If you take it up, the packaging is actually wrapped in a box or a package that actually shows us the city of Night, well, the map of Night City with the different sectors. So obviously, if you played the game, you're pretty much very familiar with the way this looks. Now, this package includes a lot of specialty pins. First and foremost, obviously, would be the Night City one made specifically here. And there's actually another one inside of the box. But if you're buying it by itself, you're probably just going to get the Night City one. Uh, but this actual package, which was sent to me from OnePlus, which again, thank you very much, includes all of these additional ones. So we'll see here right there, V for Valentinos, and of course, we also have the animals. Uh, we have the mocks, of course, and last but not least, a special edition one that is OnePlus related specifically for Cyberpunk. And of course, the Night City one. And as far as what we actually get in the box itself, once you open up the box, you'll notice first and foremost, we have some nice theming here as well. Uh, a letter here. Of course, the phone is sitting right there. Uh, there's a little map and of course, some stickers here, OnePlus, yellow OnePlus stickers to match. Of course, a welcome letter and the sim ejector tool and uh, this nice little wall poster that you could definitely put on your, uh, on your wall. So you could see right there an arm opening up and of course, uh, with the hand in there, it says OnePlus 8T Cyberpunk 2077 limited edition. And here we have the phone. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of customizations, but first thing that'll stand out to you obviously is the back. Uh, the camera bump on the back is definitely a lot bigger because it actually has to have the same area here to be able to have this 2077 logo in here. Uh, as far as the optics, this is exactly what we have on the OnePlus 8T. There's no difference as far as hardware. Uh, we have a nice little, uh, almost like a speck of crystallizations going around here with the OnePlus logo in the center. Cyberpunk in yellow sitting here. And of course, we have some nice uh, little backgrounds here that don't show up unless you hit the light again at the right angle. A nice custom color here, yellow tint all the way on the bottom. Now here next to the power button, we have that same coloring, although the, the button itself is not colored. And it's the same thing here with the volume rocker on the left side. We have a nice little accent color, but it's present right next to it. Um, on the top, what we have essentially is just one of the microphones. Uh, on the right side, we have the obviously the, the toggle to be able to turn on silent, vibrate, or obviously normal sound power button. On the bottom, we have a bottom firing speaker, USB type C, of course, one of the microphones, uh, the SIM tray here that's capable of supporting two SIM cards since this is a dual SIM device. Of course, the top earpiece married with the bottom speaker gives us access to stereo speakers on here. On the left side, all we have essentially is just the volume rocker that's present on there as well. Uh, the display is pretty much the exact same technology. What we have here essentially is a 120 hertz gaming ready ga uh, device that is basically running uh, 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal storage, running Hydrogen OS, not Oxygen OS, as this is a China intended model. You'll notice there's a, a few games in here in the system uh, that were intended basically to be for the Chinese market. Uh, the theme is installed throughout the phone. So if I go ahead and turn it off, turn it back on, you'll notice the coloring. Now I have been running it on T-Mobile in the US and I've been able to get 5G in here. The fingerprint sensor also has a nice little customization. There's the samurai wallpaper. And one of the other things that they also did here, which is a really nice thing, is the ability of customizing the boot up sequence on the smartphone. So let me go ahead and put this down real quick. And before, as it's booting up, uh, we'll notice it also that the charger is the 65 watt charger is also th cyberpunk themed, although not yellow or uh, black. It definitely uh, looks like a standard packaging that we got with the OnePlus 8T. Uh, definitely really nice. And you can see right there. Boot up animation looks absolutely fantastic in here. And of course, we have to put in our pin. And once you're done with the boot up animation, it boots up, takes us in. And of course, you can actually use the UI normally. I have gestures turned on. And of course, I've installed GeForce Now. We have Game Space. Uh, the Google Play Store is installed there. I installed a few other applications. And you can see that the theme permeates throughout the actual phone. The last thing I want you guys to uh, pay attention to is on the box, there's actually an arrow down, which tells us there's an additional compartment that's present right there on the bottom. If you miss this, that's where the case is going to be. So if you're picking up the special edition device and you don't find the case, it's actually sitting at the bottom of your box. And you'll notice that once you open it up, we have a very nice custom case made specifically for the OnePlus 8T. Again, the Cyberpunk edition. And last but not least is a custom pin. Again, the Night City one. If you end up buying the box by itself and you don't get the entire package the way I have it, 
you'll definitely get at least a Night City pin made specifically for the game. And you can see here the case fits it perfectly. You have the logo here in center and of course it encompasses the actual backing here and of course the color changing effect on the background here. Um, very nice, very simple. Uh, the uh, toggle here or the switch is not covered, but everything else works and looks perfect. Now, as I mentioned to you guys at the beginning, this is running Hydrogen OS, not Color OS. So if we jump in, into the About, again, the Snapdragon 865 powers this device, 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal storage. The camera setup is pretty much the same, a 48, uh, 48 as a prime shooter, 16 and ultra wide, 5 and of course a 2 megapixel quad camera setup on the back and a 16 megapixel camera on the front. The 6.55 inch display is 120 hertz fluid AMOLED display and it is running at 1080p but again the charging capabilities on this device is absolutely fantastic as it charges at 65 watts as I showed you guys at the beginning. As I mentioned to you guys this is running Android 11 on top of Hydrogen OS 11 which essentially gives us all of the benefits that we can expect from OnePlus. As far as the customizations and some of the things that they've done to this device obviously we saw the boot up animation the wallpapers are also very nice if I press on hold here we can go into wallpapers we have the new canvas option that's built in here but we also have some custom ones here that are built in uh, although the samurai one is the only one that's uh, built in here that is uh, animation style so it's actually a live wallpaper but you can go in there and customize additional things under system you can jump in directly for customizations you'll notice that the wallpaper is in there we also have the clock and ambient display custom made one for cyberpunk last but not least the fingerprint animation is also a specific one for cyberpunk Horizon Light didn't have one specifically for it, but I left it on gold to match the color scheme. Uh, and then of course, under system, we also have the Cyberpunk uh, icon pack that's present here, and you can obviously customize it or switch over back. Uh, and last but not least, essentially, is that this is actually a custom theme built in. So you can either have it on or turn it off. And it is a dark mode theme by default. It just has the accent colors to be yellow. And one of the things that we saw with the OnePlus 8T is that this was a definitely a very much a gaming centric phone. The fast refresh rate on the display, the fast charging, the large battery, the stereo speakers, all of these things obviously scream gaming. So the game space is installed. You're able to download and install different games. Of course, I have Genshin Impact. I have, as you saw there, uh, GeForce Now and of course Fortnite to be able to round off some gaming in here. The Google Play Store is in here. I was able to get 5G on this as well, and I did a couple of speed tests here in the US. Um, overall, performance wasn't too bad, but depending on where you are, if you have good access to a good network connection, you should be able to get about 80 and 40 up. So 5G, not a problem. But because I want to actually show you guys how to play Cyberpunk 2077 on your Cyberpunk 2077 smartphone from OnePlus, uh, we need to install and actually use GeForce Now, as well as actually a controller for that. So this is the Kishi controller made by Razer, and it's essentially a, a perfect controller to work with GeForce Now for any smartphone that you can actually install GeForce Now, be it Android or iOS. And the main thing that we would need to do, obviously, is connect it using the USB-C connector on the bottom, and since it, nice, it has a nice configuration where it stretches, you'll connect it here at the bottom or at the top and it'll just work perfectly fine for you. And then you'll be able to obviously connect your accounts and customize them the way you want. Uh, the bottom fire speaker will actually channel through here. There's a nice little opening that will channel the audio out. And of course, the front facing speaker is sitting at the top, which permeates the sound forward. We are able to charge our device in case you guys are worried about this. And of course, use Bluetooth headset and connectivity with this uh, for any kind of gaming experience. Uh, the standard gaming modes that we've seen before, so fanatic mode and gaming mode turned on, all of these things are in there. And of course, the controller just makes it easier to be able to control and use different things. GeForce Now is, has a massive collection of library or applications that supports it. One of the things I really like about it is that it actually connects over to my Steam account. So let's go ahead and stop talking. And let me show you guys some gameplay of Cyberpunk 2077 on the Cyberpunk 2077 OnePlus 8T. Yeah, this 
This is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. Having collaborations like these with companies between, let's say, OnePlus and other companies, we've seen this before. So we've seen Oppo coming out with their own uh, League of Legends phones or even uh, their, uh, I think it was the Evangelion phone that they released in Europe. And of course, uh, this is an amazing device to start with. The OnePlus 8T comes with a lot of great specs to start with. This is the standard one. But the Cyberpunk 2077, if you're a fan like I am, uh, playing it on my smartphone is as good as playing it on my PC. And the reason behind that is because we are using GeForce now. There is no mobile version of Cyberpunk 2077. If you see that somewhere, somebody's either pulling, a, pulling your leg or doing something there. But for me, playing it on uh, well, playing it on the OnePlus 8T with the Kishi controller is the perfect combo. Again, you need to make sure to have a good solid either 5G connection or a good Wi-Fi connection, depending where you are. Um, I want to say thank you first and foremost to OnePlus for allowing me to check out the Cyberpunk Edition. Uh, I am a big fan. I'm actually playing this for the second time right now. I finished it first with the Street Kid. I'm going with the Corpse side, and then of course later on we'll do the Nomad again. Um, but again, the overall experience here is if you're looking for something unique, if you're looking for a very, very unique smartphone from OnePlus in 2020 or even 2021, this will not disappoint. Thank you very much to OnePlus. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Like and subscribe as usual. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next one.